our relationship with our body is one of wanting to force it to do things rather than to understand the wisdom of what it holds. And so when you start being able to have a different relationship with your body and see it as a best friend, all sorts of things change. So let me share with you about what it is to read your body. Now, how the body, I'm going to take my scarf off because it's cold in Paris where I'm living and I need to have that scarf to keep warm. But how the body works is this. You have the, the head, which connects with the body through the neck. And the neck is what connects the mind with the heart. Problems in the neck normally means that you have issues between these two, connecting the two. Problems with the shoulders means that you're carrying on the sh you know problems of others on your shoulders. Byron Katie says that there's three types of business. There's my business, there's your business, and there's God's business. So forget God's business, you can't change that. Forget other people's business, you know you can't change them. Focus on your business and your shoulders will lighten. All right, this is my issue too. All right, and the other thing, you can have a look. This is where anger is held, okay? These points right in here. And I'm gonna stand up to show you the rest. You have uh, fear in the solar plexus. If the solar plexus is tight, this is where fear is. That means you're not trusting the world. Down here, you have the fear belt. That means that that's also where fear is held. Underneath the ribs on either side, oftentimes, is your past. The left side is your past. Um, and this is areas on your right side, is areas of where you're going to be going. Fear of the future as well. Now, issues with your arms, if your arms are, are hurting or your hands, we use our arms to give back to the world. So normally it has to do with issues and problems you have with work. Our legs, this is very interesting, our legs are what connect us to the earth. So if you have problems with your legs, you have a hard time standing up for yourself. It's funny how we use these expressions in English and don't even think about it. The feet act like conductors that connect you with the most powerful source of energy there is, which is the planet. Problems with the feet is oftentimes not trusting the earth under your feet, okay, and making sure that that is also okay. Problems with the hips, you're not just having to walk forward, right? Sometimes the hips say, hey, you can move to the side sometimes. You can also move back. You don't always have to go forward, right? So it, it's a way of just saying, relax and you can be a bit more flexible. You don't have to always go forward. You can also move to the side and back. So these are ways that you can start understanding where the issues are in your body. Oh, the back of the, the back of the thighs, the back of the thighs. That's always fear. That's always fear. Fear of trusting the earth. <laughs>